Track 56. Despite the benefits of fracking which its supporters claim, there are clearly various concerns connected with it. Some of these are real, but it's possible that they're not as well-founded as opponents of fracking would have us believe. So, what exactly are these concerns? Well, we can divide them into three categories. Environmental concerns, health concerns, and economic concerns. To begin with, let's look at the environmental concerns. The first and possibly most significant environmental concern is that despite producing lower levels of carbon dioxide, shale gas is still a cause of global warming, and so it should not be used. In effect, it simply stops energy producers and governments focusing on the real need to develop renewable sources of energy. What's more, it's likely that although countries which produce shale gas will use less coal and oil, the use of coal and oil will still continue to increase in other places, so globally there will be little or no benefit to the environment. Another environmental concern is pollution. If the production site is badly maintained, dangerous chemicals can get into water sources and rivers. While there's some evidence of this happening at existing production sites, it isn't clear whether this problem happens everywhere, so more research is needed. The last environmental concern connected with drilling is that of earthquakes. We're more familiar with earthquakes happening in certain areas of the world, like Japan and China, but there's evidence that drilling can disturb the ground in the local area, causing it to move and shake, which in turn damages buildings. Usually these movements aren't serious, but they can cause a lot of worry to the local population, so they need to be considered. In fact, very few of these ground movements have definitely been caused by drilling, and it might be that people are worried because of what they hear or read in the media rather than the actual reality of the situation. Now I'd like to turn to the economic concerns. Opponents of fracking say that the economic benefits are not as great as its supporters claim. While there's clearly an increase in economic activity in the areas where fracking is carried out, as I discussed earlier, there are often negative effects on agriculture and farming in these areas. And there's good evidence that house prices fall, because people aren't willing to move into areas where fracking is taking place or has taken place. Another economic concern is that gas production can be very high at the beginning of the fracking process, but it can drop quickly, down to as little as 10% in five years. This can result in more drilling and greater use of water, which increases the cost of getting the gas out of the ground. The other main economic problem is that the estimated amount of gas in the ground may not be anywhere near as high as fracking supporters claim, so investing huge amounts of money in new wells may not benefit the economy at all. This brings me to the last major concern, health. Fracking can bring with it a pollution problem. If the well isn't deep enough, less than 600 meters, or if there are problems with drilling, the chemicals can leak into the drinking water supply and cause problems for the local population. There have even been reports of residents opening their water taps and seeing brown water and mud coming out. Pollution can also be carried in the air to local towns and affect people with existing medical problems, especially those with breathing difficulties. There have even been reports of more cases of cancer among people living near production sites, as well as among the workers themselves. Clearly, a lot more research needs to be done on the effects of fracking on health. So to summarize, there are significant environmental, economic, and health concerns connected with fracking. But we need to carry out a lot more research to see whether these concerns are real. Whether they're real or not, they're having an effect on the fracking industry right now. In many places around the world, local people have protested angrily when they found out that fracking is planned in their area. 
These concerns have also led local, regional, and national governments to announce that fracking won't start until they're quite sure that it's safe. This means that they'll prevent any activity connected with fracking until there's enough evidence to assure its safety, especially in areas with higher populations. In fact, in France, they've decided not to allow fracking anywhere in the country. We can see that the future is very uncertain, and that is what I'd now like to discuss.